This is 14.1, Digestive System Notes. The essential question is, what is the function of the digestive system? And describe the layers and functions of each layer of the GI tract. The digestive system is made up of various organs, and their job is to break down the food and then produce some chemicals that will help breaking down the food. And then once it's broken down, then that food is passed along the wall of the uh, digestive tract and then it can be carried by the cardiovascular system to the tissue where it is used for uh, producing energy. There are two major divisions of the digestive system. The first one is the gastrointestinal or the GI tract. It is also called the elementary canal or just the digestive tract. It is a tube within a tube. If you think of the outer tube as being the body and then the inner tube is the digestive tract, then um, you kind of get the idea of how the, the digestive system is set up. So when food is are actually inside the digestive tract, it is actually exposed to the outside through the mouth and through the anus is an open uh, system. And the digestive tract continues from the mouth to the anus and it is the organs are connected to each other and they all share the same uh, passageway for food. The other group is the accessory organ, and these are the organs that are responsible for producing any kind of uh, chemicals or uh, structures that aid in the breakdown of the uh, food, and they could include all of the organs like the liver, the pancreas, all of the salivary glands, even teeth are considered accessory organs. There are several processes that are involved in the digestive system. The first one is ingestion, which means that you are taking in a food through the mouth. Propulsion and segmentation. Uh, propulsion means the forward movement of materials down a tube, and then a segmentation would be mixing a food while it's going down the digestive tract. Uh, the word to describe the movement uh, happening in the digestive tract is the peristalsis, which is the movement, uh, forward movement of materials, and it is by the action of the smooth muscles of the uh, digestive tract that allows the food to be squeezed down the uh, digestive tract. The digestion, which is a major process in the digestive system, is the pr process of breaking down food from a larger molecule into smaller molecules, small enough that it can be actually passed through the lining of the intestine. The two types are mechanical digestion. This is the physical breaking down food by actually uh, breaking up into little pieces by cutting or grinding or smashing the food. And chemical digestion is different from mechanical digestion in the fact that they both break down food, but the chemical digestion requires an enzyme because there is only so much that the mechanical digestion can break down the pieces small enough. But after a while, the enzyme needs to get it involved to break it down into even smaller pieces. Next is the absorption, and remember absorption specifically for the digestive system involves the absorption of nutrients. Once it's broken down by the digestive organs, then it's small enough to uh, pass through the wall of the intestinal wall, especially the small intestine, then it moves from the intestine into the blood or the lymph, and then the blood will basically carry the nutrients, the broken down nutrients, to the cells where it's needed. And then defecation is all of the materials that is not able to be digested, broken down, that we can't digest for nutrients, and then that gets collected and then eliminated from the body in the form of feces. There are four layers to the wall of the GI tract. From the most inner layer is the mucosa, then comes the submucosa, the muscularis or the muscular layer, and then the serosa. So when you see here, the most inner layer that is actually in contact with the food passing through it is the mucosa, and then the outer layer covering that, surrounding that is the submucosa. Then we have the muscular la muscularis layer, which is pretty thick, and then the thin serosa layer covering the outside. Remember, mucosa is another name for the mucous membrane. The primary job is to produce mucus, and the mucus is slimy, so it reduces friction. It allows the food to kind of slip through the uh, GI tract. The, the epithelium that makes up the lining of the mucosa vary by location. So areas like the mouth, esophagus, and the anus 
are made up of non-keratinized stratified squamous, and their job is for multiple flat layers. Remember, uh, allows for uh, protection against uh, rubbing from the food passing through it, like friction. The intestines are primarily made up of simple columnar epithelium, and remember any columnar epithelium have goblet cells, and their job is to produce mucus, but they also function in absorption and secretion. Another layer to the mucosa is called the lamina propria, which is made up of areolar connective tissue, and they kind of, the connective tissue is, allows the multiple layers to kind of join together. They contain blood vessels and lymphatic vessels, which is important for when the nutrients comes in to be able to uh, carry the nutrients through the lymphatic vessels and the blood. But also it contains lymph, uh, lymph nodes. Remember, there are lots of various uh, lymphatic organs along the digestive tract in order to uh, eliminate any kind of foreign materials that might be ingested with the um, food. The mucosa layer does have some two layers of very thin layers of smooth muscles and that kind of helps along the movement of the materials and remember that the villi which increases the surface area of the intestinal wall um, also is part of the mucosa layer next layer out underneath the mucosa is the submucosa that's where it gets the name it's mainly made up of areolar connective tissue. It contains major blood vessels, and it also have submucosal plexus, which is nerve supply, and it contains many elastic fibers to keep it its shape. You don't want the intestine to kind of bulge out and get kind of loose because then it won't be, it won't be able to move the food along as well. It also contains glands and lymphatic tissue, again, for um, some immune function and to produce uh, secretions like it also produces some mucus also. And remember, any time where there is nerve supply, it helps to um, movement, but also it contains pain fibers, so if you damage the submucosa, you're going to have some pain. Damage to the mucosa, you might not notice the pain, but eventually when the mucosa layer gets eaten away or damaged, then it leads to the exposure of the submucosa layer, then you could have pain. The muscularis layer, which is a thick layer of two layers of smooth muscles. There are the inner ones, is the circular layer, and that is for squeezing. And squeezing meaning that it is closing the sides of the lumen. It's kind of concentrically getting narrower. The, um, so when any time there's a food there and when it squeezes, it kind of pushes the food into the next area. And then the outer longitudinal layer... Uh, it, what it does is because it runs the length of the intestine, it, when it contracts, it shortens the intestine, and that allows for mixing. So inner layer is for more for propulsion, and the outer uh, longitudinal layer would be for segmentation, which is for mixing of the food. The areas of the uh, majority of the digestive tract is under involuntary controls by the smooth muscles, but areas like the mouth, the pharynx, and the one-third portion of upper portion of the esophagus is under voluntary control, which means that it's skeletal muscles. You control it. And then the anal, external anal sphincter, which allows you to defecate, is also under the uh, voluntary control by the skeletal muscle. And that is all controlled by the myenteric plexus, which are the nerves that supply um, nerves to the the muscularis layer. The picture down below is showing you the difference between peristalsis. Peristalsis is by the inner circular layer when it squeezes the muscle layer. When it squeezes, it moves the food into the next area, where segmentation is when the wall of the intestine contracts, it shortens, and then it's kind of mixing the food along. That segmentation. Serosa is the most outer layer. It is mostly connective tissue. It does have, remember, serosa is another name for serous membrane, which produces serous fluid, and that's for keeping the, uh, the organs moist. 14.1 notes homework. Number one, what are the two major divisions of the digestive system, and what are their functions? Number two, name the layers of the GI wall in order from the exterior to the interior. Number three, how are mechanical and chemical digestion similar and different?